Hi there, welcome to Oracle Applied Database System course, now available at Oracle Academy. My name is Madhusudan Rao, a Database Product Manager at Oracle. The agenda for today's demo is, uh, let us see how we can quickly create autonomous database instance, uh, create a database user and run a couple of SQL commands, create an Apex instance, and also see how we can quickly develop a low-code Apex application with a sample FinTech data. Does it sound interesting? So let us get started. Log in to cloud.oracle.com. Provide your account name or tenancy name. You have two options. One is single sign on login. If you are an administrator, you can use that or else you can use direct sign in. Direct sign in user is the one that is created by the administrator. In this case, since I have administrator account, I will log in with the SSO login and click on continue button. Now we are within the cloud console. Click on the left navigation, click on Oracle database and then select autonomous data warehouse. Now click on create autonomous database. Select the compartment name and just review all the parameters that we need to fill in in the screen. Let us start with display name. I can give fintech and uh, database name can be fintech. But remember the database name should be unique in a tenancy. Let us select data warehouse, shared infrastructure. Uh, I have selected the always free account, but you can, if it is a paid tenancy, you can change it. Select 19C database version and provide administrator password and license should be license included. Click on create autonomous database. This will take a couple of seconds to change from provisioning state to uh, available state. So let us click on database actions. Here you have various options. Let us select SQL. In SQL worksheet, uh, let us create a user, dev user, provide your own password. You can provide a table space for this user and also create uh, various grants. And also you can use a sample sales schema to create a sales 360 table and a customer 360 table. sh.schema is a sample schema that comes with default installation. You can use that schema to create any other table. Let us click on database action again. You can see database users if you click on that you can see the new user that we have created. There are multiple options here. If you click on edit, you can uh, change the password of this user or set a password expiry date or enable OML or graph. You can do plenty of things here. Now click on tools and uh, Oracle Apex. Provide the administrator a password that you use during creating ADB instance, autonomous database instance. In case you forgot admin password, you can always go back to more actions. And uh, there is an option of administrator password. Here you can reset the password. Now create workspace. You have two options, either use new schema or existing schema. Since we created the user earlier, so let us use uh, existing schema. Choose the database user, that is dev user, and uh, provide the other details like workspace name, username and password. Click on create workspace. Now you can see in the top navigation, the new workspace has been created. Click on that, dev user workspace. 
and then log in as dev user and provide the required password of this user. Now we are all set with our Apex environment. Here we can use App Builder to create various applications. You can download a sample deposit data from any banking website. What I have is a sample data where you have the ID, deposit amount, maturity date, start date, rate of interest, status and account holder name. Now let us return back to uh, our Apex application. Click on SQL Workshop, Utilities, All Utilities. Select uh, Data Workshop, Load Data. Select uh, the CSV file that we have. Now uh, provide the table name. Table owner is already selected by default. You can see uh, the columns have been automatically created uh, and uh, also the data types have been assigned. So Apex has done all these things for us. Click on load data. It will take a couple of seconds for this to get created. That is the table to be created and add all the records. Now we can click on create application. If you don't want to create application, you can just view table. But in this case, we want to create an application from CSV. So now uh, this shows us uh, the default pages that have been created. You can change the appearance. Uh, it shows you various themes that are available. Uh, I would uh, select redwood light but you can leave it as a default and even the navigation you can see the top navigation or side navigation so let us leave it as a default side navigation menu click on save changes if you want you can add more pages or by clicking on the add page or just create application This has created all the required pages for the application. Run the application and provide the password for dev user. Click sign in. Now you can see the four pages that have been created. On the left navigation, you can see the links to each of these pages. In the dashboard, you can see the deposit amounts, a bar chart of that. Uh, rate of uh, interest and also the status like the number of deposits that have been expired or those which are active and how many deposits are held by each account holder you can see all these graphs the search is pretty well advanced here you can see various filters on the left side for example if I want to filter by the liquid related deposits I can see this list I can also filter by rate of interest between 5 to 5.3 and I can of course like uh, I can uh, add more filters to this one. In the reports, uh, this is a uh, view and edit uh, report, you click on that edit icon, you can edit the report, say for example if I want to change rate of interest to 5.3 to 5.4, I can change that apply changes so this saves the record and also uh, we have the calendar view where you can see on which month which deposit is active just click on that you can see so you can customize this furthermore uh, these pages so to summarize what we did in this demo is uh, we created an autonomous database instance of data warehouse type workload. We created a database user, provided various grants and table space. We created an Apex instance 
and then from a fintech data in a csv format we developed a low code application without writing even a single line of code and we saw various features such as search sort analytics crude operations etc and thank you have a great day